Welcome to the YouTube universe. You ever had a problem with generalization? Well, I think America has a problem with generalization. What is generalization? It is the practice of lumping in everyone in a certain race, sexual orientation, or whatever else there is. White, black, Mexican, Latino, whatever race, ethnicity, sex, or gender is, and lumping them all, and you take one of those races and lump them all into the same, lumping them all together. Like, let's take cops for instance. It's not even gender, it's occupation to, it's everything. Whatever, whatever you can name, it is. Whether male, female, yeah, I say it, it's not sexist for using the actual thing that exists. Okay, I do not care if you don't believe males exist. Okay, let me tell you something. Males do exist. I'm sorry to tell you this. <laughs> gender neutral. I don't care if you believe there's no such thing as genders. Okay, first of all, I don't care if you believe there's more than two genders or if there's two genders. Okay, first of all, men are always exist. Mankind is not sexist. It is a thing. Mankind in itself means all people, not just men. Otherwise, they would just say man. Mankind, man. It, God said we all are human kind. Male and female. It's not it's not freaking specific on man. Just because the word man is in it. Stop being dumb. Okay. These are the people in our education system, people. Okay. <laughs> I'm going on a side tangent from what this the actual, top, actual topic is actually about. But... <laughs> Let's say cops, for instance, since that's the popular thing to generalize around here. Um, not all cops are racist. Okay, let me let, let, let me clarify. Not all cops are racist. Not the majority, probably minority, and usually if they do something racist, they get fired. Okay, they, they know better, so they try to hide it. But the fact of the matter is, or disguise it as something else, the fact of the matter is, is you're going to run into some bad cops. Some more than others, but the fact of the matter, it doesn't just happen to black people. Now, you go, are you uh, mostly? Yeah, let's say you're right. M let's say most of the time it's black people. That doesn't, they don't, doesn't make it just a black person problem. It happens to Mexicans just almost, almost if not more, to, than black people. <laughs> okay, Mexican gets the same treatment. White people. Believe it or not, some white people, if they're poor enough, I mean, uh, what are they? I don't know any other people, but let me let me tell you why you don't go never see a Mexican get on the report on the news, okay? Because it doesn't fit the agenda. <laughs> you can't look for the news for everything, sir. You can't look to the news to report fair and accurate data. You're not going to look to the news, they're not going to tell you everything. If you really want to know the true accurate fact, the whole picture, you need to look in books. Okay. You need to dig deep on internet called Google. But besides the fact, we like to generalize. Now, we hate it when white people generalize black people. We we're not all criminals, but you like to call all white people racist. So if you like to call white people racist, what if they started all calling us criminals? What if they all started calling us thugs? They say all black people are thugs. You wouldn't like that. But why do you keep doing that to them? Stop being hypocritical. Equality starts with you, not the other way around. Get out this racism mindset. This goes for everybody. Now, I'm going to do a part two of this. Because I think I'm going to get interrupted. But, in case I don't. But, people who complain about generalization also do it themselves. Okay. Not all cops are racist. 
I've been stopped number of times and everything was fine. We had a cordial conversation. Nobody got hurt. Nobody got tased. Nobody got arrested. There was no ugly name calling. He wasn't forcing me against the car, which would for a forced trip teased or whatever. None of that. There was no none of that hostile environment. He searched my stuff, and that was it. And we went about our day. Never said. And like I was at work one day. Like I forgot when this was. I think it's around holiday. And I told the story. He said, "How did you feel?" And like, bro, if I if there was any discrimination, I would assume. Okay, first of all, I it doesn't matter how I felt, dude. I was riding around with a ski mask on. That was suspicious enough as it is. Okay, <laughs> I didn't feel that their stop was unjust completely. I mean, I was riding around in a ski mask. I mean, even if it, we are free to do it. We have to be aware that looks suspicious. No matter who it was wearing. Okay. Let's say if a lot of people were wearing it, people wouldn't. But most people. Let me tell you why that. Let me tell you about why that wasn't suspicious. Because why that wasn't unjust. Because everybody under the sun was telling me the people that cops were going to stop me wearing that ski mask. And I didn't listen to them. Everybody under the sun said I looked scary and I looked suspicious. So. What do you think was going to happen? You thought it was going to... Well, well so... Uh, no, 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 no. Everybody I know. My friends told me I looked suspicious wearing a ski mask. But I didn't... I said, I'll be alright. And I was alright. Even though I got stopped. But I was alright. Never got stopped again. For the same reason. But the fact of the matter is, I was alright. Not every cop is horrible racist cop that just looking to stop a black man because he's black I mean you get stopped by the cops for doing dumb shit like speeding they have a right to stop you you're breaking the law now them stopping you is not oppressing you okay first of all you you get that ticket you have to pay the ticket if they may say sometimes not even give you a ticket. If they might just give you one if you're nice enough. But most of the time they're not nice enough. I wanna get combative. You wanna argue with the cops. You wanna be hostile and you wonder why you got a ticket. And that's higher than you normal. Okay, if you would have just been cordial and respectful to authority, because he has the authority, it doesn't matter why he stopped you, it doesn't matter what he said, you do what he told you to do because he's an authority figure. <laughs> this is like, it doesn't matter what you perceive it to be. If you perceive injustice or that you're being stopped unjustly, you go wait until you, everything, God, get the band's badge number or whatever. If he was to give it, you'll figure it out. Um, he has to give you his badge number. If, but, not I'm saying it's not no unjust cause, okay, first of all. And I mean, Tell you, mostly people think they can do whatever they want to and, and not have to be stopped by the police. Okay, that's not true. You break, no matter, if you break the law, you have to be stopped no matter how small the infraction is. They have a right to stop you even for jaywalking, but most of them don't. Okay, just because they normally don't stop you for jaywalking doesn't mean that one day you won't get stopped by, by the police for jaywalking. Okay, I mean, most cops don't even pay that any attention because it's just not even worth it. But... <laughs> If you meet that one guy who wants to be petty, or maybe he's new in the force and wants to prove something, and he stopped you for jaywalking, you, you did jaywalk if you actually did cross the street outside of a crosswalk. Okay, you can't get mad because you got caught jaywalking. <laughs> or that sounds like a ridiculous example. Let me go to a better example. If you get caught speeding, he can't stop everybody else. He gonna stop the one that's easiest to catch, and that happened to be you. So you don't complain. <laughs> like you don't know. He don't know who stopping who. Most of the time, it is us who's speeding. Okay, first of all, I'm I'm sorry to tell you this. I'm sorry to tell you this. It, it's it, it's it, it's statistics. Don't lie. Okay, it's a, we are more like most likely to be speeding. If you follow the speed limit, you won't get stopped by the cops. 
I'm just saying. Uh, and this is generalization. Calling everybody on the right racist neo Nazis because you don't agree with them on the political basis or they don't agree with your victimhood mentality. These glasses suck. But, see, this is what I'm talking about. These glasses kick suck. Right there, yeah, I don't know. There we go. They don't agree with your victimhood mentality. Okay? We are not victims. We, we are, we are instruments of our own stupidity. Okay? And instruments of our own behavior, we have to have accountability for our actions. There are some things in life we can control. And there's some things we can't control. But it's not all white people's fault. Actually, if you can count on your finger, one finger, maybe not finger, there's no finger. It's the, if everything was white people's fault, then white people could fix it. But it isn't white people's fault. You know, I'm so sick and tired of these racist ass black folks. Not all black people, hashtag no, not all black. I'm tired of it, which I think you know, these who know what I'm talking about know who I'm talking about. These, you you see them on the street always talking some anti-white shit, white crap. Sorry, I, I'm, it irritates me. I don't like racism. They want to talk about, go on, just talk about equality and being diverse, but they're racist in the core. In fact, the matter, you can't beat racism with more racism. It's fallacy. Okay. If you don't want nobody generalizing, stop generalizing. If you don't want everybody labeling you like everybody else, stop doing the same thing to them. It goes for everybody. Peace. I don't want to go on off tangent. If you, if you like what I had to say, please comment down below. And give me a thumbs up or subscribe. Hit that bell notification down below. Links to my Patreon account will be on the description below.